Amanil Kumar sharing with you test paper of my student MHF4U Advanced Functions Grade 12 is Trigonometric Functions Part A. Now on this sheet we have multiple choice questions. Uh, you can pause the video, copy these questions, try them out. It will help you to practice for your own test, right? So I think you can see four of them now and have a look at uh, the other three which are question numbers 5, 6 and 7. Let me push the page a bit more so that you can see them clearly, right? So that is the first page. These are all knowledge-based questions. Fairly simple to answer. Now on the second page, we have uh, two more multiple choice questions. So question number eight, nine, and 10. Now have a good look at it. Try to solve them. I will, however, discuss with you question number nine. And I have seen students making mistake in answering this question number of times, right? So let me take this up here in this video. So basically, we are going to discuss trigonometric functions and co-function identity, right? The question is, cos of x is equivalent to which one of these four? Cos of x minus pi by 2, sine of x minus pi by 2, sine of x plus pi by 2, or minus sine x. So this is the question before us. Now let us see how to answer this question. So let's begin by sketching a sine function, right? And then it will be easy for us to figure out how to answer this question. So as you know, sine wave is kind of like this, right? So whenever there is pi by 2 involved, it is a co-function identity. Cos changes to sine, sine changes to cos. Now we need to find out what is equivalent to cos of x that means first is ruled out one of these three and sine x minus pi by 2 or sine x plus pi by 2 one of these should be your answer which one that is what we need to figure out this is the sine wave if i do sine minus pi by 2 then in that case i will be moving the wave horizontally pi by 2 units that is this much to the right so it will become like this right that is not cosine function cosine function starts with maximum that means i have to move the wave pi by two units to the left right so if i do like this then what i get is cos of x correct so moving towards left towards minus pi by two for the sine function results into cos function so the option C is the right option. That is one way of looking into it, right? That is one way of looking into it. The other way of looking into it is using the coordinate itself, right? So let us say that we have a point here for x. Let's say this is our point, which is x and y, right? So if I do sine x, plus pi by 2 actually I should have taken P and Q as my points anyway let me change these points to P and Q since we have the angle X here so this is for let us say acute angle X right when we say X plus pi by 2 it means what it means that I'm going to add 90 degrees to this right so I get a line here Do you see that so this angle from here to here now becomes x plus pi by 2. Is that okay? And you will see if I do x plus pi by 2, the coordinates change. Instead of p, q, they become q and p. Correct? So sine at this point becomes cosine. Now here sine is positive. If you write the cost rule, which is c a s t now here sine is positive correct since sine is positive sine x plus pi by 2 will be positive right so this is a positive value and cos x which is here in this quadrant is also positive and therefore this is the right answer if you are considering x minus pi by 2 then in that case you are in quadrant 4 
in quadrant 4 sign value will be negative right not positive however cos x is positive so that is not the right answer so these are two different ways in which you can answer this question i thought it important i and i hope you appreciate it thank you and all the best